Alright, so here's the next part. I'm gonna go and uh, just work on the side a bit. Side wall. All right. So, I uh, kinda wanna tone this down a bit more. This looks super chunky. I also think the hips flare out too much regardless of uh, the concept just the general shape of it is annoying me let me just touch that up a bit alright grab that and pancake that flat pancake that flat pancake that flat Grab this and this, press W, shift right click, extrude edge, press uh, W again, pancake it up. Press R, pancake it flat, and I'm gonna squeeze it in like that, using that one right there, see? Then also start to pancake it flat some more so it averages out, right, like this. Have a nice strip that I understand. Now I'm gonna pancake it completely flat. I don't care. Like that. Down here, I'm gonna yank it down to here because it's in alignment to this. See? Maybe a little bit lower. Like that. See? Like that. So it kind of matches because this is where the knee is or also maybe I want the knee a little bit lower maybe uh, not yet a kneecap which is I'm thinking right around here so because the thigh at least for people the thigh is longer right the femur so I'm gonna grab this and this I'm just gonna lower it this is why I like doing the strips too because I have a uh, control Grab both of those like that, see? Lowered it. Like this, and this, and then shoo, and then shoo. Alright. Edge mode. Okay. Go back to edge mode. And then, uh, I'm also going to move it this way. Because that way, the topology, right, it's going to flow like this, see? The gesture lines. And it's going to flow towards here. absolute control and this I don't mind this I can pump up later and I can dial it in like that too this way then from there shift right click extrude edge press W I'm gonna pull it down to here All right because this is where this part begins I'm not gonna mind this right now this is for later I could do it now if I wanted to, but I uh, kind of don't want to. I'm just matching it to that, pull it back. Right. And then from there. So I pause the video for a second. Right. Now you can see here, right, here's that topology strip. And then here's this part. And then, yeah, it does go at an angle. That's so I think I'll do that. Do this and then do that at an angle, keeping that. So, uh, all right. Um, this guy. All right. I'm gonna press E as an Edward. I'm just gonna rotate. It's gonna match like this. Like that. So it's gonna. I want the trajectory to be like this. So just 
eyeballing it using the rotate tool like that. Be careful how you rotate it. Whatever you do, do not end up rotating on the green axis. Whatever you do, do not do that. Right, and then just something like that. Don't get this imagining this line cutting across. Because right. eventually it's going to go like this. And then this is going to go like this. So this is why I do like, again, the topology strips. Right. Because I'm directing the flow as I go. Anyway. I'm going to also grab... Uh, let me see here one second. I'm gonna grab this and this. Right, so here we are, right up to here. I did this, and then I'm shift right click, street edge, press W, yank this down to here. Right, so this strip is gonna be going like that, up to here, ish, yeah. I'm gonna match that. This is gonna match that. A little bit higher, like that. So let's see what we got. Not much, right? It doesn't look like much. Okay. This part, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna have it flare out. Right? I'm gonna have it like this, just straight looking at us. I don't want to deal with feet being splayed out and having to rotate things and matching the topology lines is too much of a hassle. And I don't want to deal with rigging where I'm flaying out the bones and I want to keep it simple. So I got that. And then from there, uh, this part is going to go down. Right? So Something's hurting the silhouette right now. Right, 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 right. Let me think. Vertex mode. That's this part. So maybe it needs to be a little bit lower to here. gonna have to reconnect anyway so I just lowered it a bit more down for now even just worrying too much uh, this part here I think I'm gonna rotate it a bit to kind of match that yeah like that it's so gonna go up like this reconnect yeah 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 Out. Right, good. Get 
that silhouette. Grab those and push it in like that. Alright, so something like this. Okay. And for this part, grab this and this. Shift right click, street edge, press W, yank it down. Just align it something like that and then kind of pull it back out a bit right. okay see this part right here this is basically a pipe with a certain amount of thickness that rounds out like an oval just press a little pause right The pause is also going to be wideness is going to be here too. All right, okay. And then from there, thickness of this. So grab this and this. Pull that out this way a bit. All right. And you grab that. Pull this in a bit. this and this 11 minutes shift shift right click street edge press w pull it out press r flatten it skew it flatten it this way flat like that like that flat skew it in a bit then from there let me just check my uh, image reference right it rounds out like that okay so I'm gonna pull it like this and this is gonna match with this Something like that. This to this, this to this. Move to here. And then we'll grab this. And then I'm going to lower it again. Okay. I want to. I feel like rounding this out a bit. Insert edge loop. And pull. And one, two, three, four. Four. Four for now. Nothing more than that. Nothing less than that. Because it splits up four ways evenly. And then this will help me to kind of buff out the back of the thigh there boom 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 crack this three right which is this right here back of the ass pump it up this is what I mean by, this is why I like doing the strips. And it's flowing back into here. So with that being said, let me um, pump up some of these guys on the side wall. Right, the side wall, boom. There we go, see that what I mean? Now the silhouette's coming back. Maybe I'll grab that, pump that out a bit if I wanted to. See? 
then I'm going to do an incremental save. Uh, Alt Shift S. What's the uh, Control Shift? I did. What's the incremental file? Alt Control Alt S. Control Alt S. Incremental save. Anyway, 15 minutes. Shift right click. Insert edge loop. Okay. I'm gonna wanna dump for this wall here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Press three. Vertex small. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Maybe it's too much. Cause I, I, I thought that the silhouette, the hips was just too freaking wide. So toning it down. of the strips as we go. Control the flow of the lines as we go. Right. Super important. There. Less daunting looking. Alright. I feel like doing strips over here now. Four strips. One. Two. Three and four. One, two, three, four. <coughs> Grab that. Buff it out. Carefully grab that. Buff that out. Grab that. Carefully buff that out. Bam. Now you have your quadriceps forming. Bam. And then maybe if I feel it's the knee is pushing out too much. I can dial it back while still keeping up with the silhouette. I can grab these. Right. Pull it down a bit. Very nice. There you go. And then later, they're gonna reconnect. Bridge, 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 blah, 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 blah. And this part, obviously, I gotta buff this out a bit, right? Because the thickness here is getting too much. And then I can buff this out a bit. So it's not gonna be a massive chunk, right? Can go and grab double click that, yank it down a bit, grab this vertex, pull it down a bit, pull it out a bit, so it flows, never a straight line, right, always flowing, and I can widen that up more, widen that up more, pull it down a bit more, right, I can grab this, widen that out so it meets, you know, this way like that. Maybe I can widen that out, beef that out a bit. Right, looking at my plan planes. Right, always looking at my planes. Buff that out a bit. Bring it out. Get a nice strong organic shape. Nice. Okay. This here, 
Maybe I'm thinking uh, this needs to lower a bit. All right, so it's gonna reconnect there. See, reconnect, reconnect, reconnect. All right, geez, that was 20 minutes. So we did that. As long as you just do it slow and steady and don't rush it. The moment you rush it, problems going to happen. Incremental save. I'm going to this view. Maybe I can grab these. Push it in a bit. Grab that, push that in a bit. Maybe I'm thinking it looks too thick. No. So I just grab that, push this in, right. push this, grab these two, push it in, because this is going to be the paw. And the other side is going to be this wideness, so it's going to be about this wide. Right. Grab this, maybe pull that out a bit, pull that out a bit. Because right. this is going to be the quadriceps muscle. That way it'll meet over here. Yeah. Alright, 21 minutes. Um, as you can see, I'm taking it super slow and steady. Right? Especially since this is a beginner class. You know, I'm not blasting through the speed of it so you can kind of absorb and process everything that I'm doing looks funky but just gotta be patient with it the shape will come out by itself that and the next one I'm going to start making the hind legs blah 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 behind blah 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 that's gonna reattach to here so that's the end of this video bye